Hi, this is Janice from ScrappyCutsOnline.com. I'm going to show you how to do the spooky haunted dresser. I hope you have a nice Halloween. You can find this file at ScrappyCutsOnline.com or JessoScrappyCuts.com. I use my gazelle to cut out all the files needed for this project. After you cut out all the pieces, they have to be scored so you have a nice crisp fold and so everything lines up really good. I made these files so that they would be really easy to determine where the score lines are. As you can see, I drew a line down the Martha Stewart scoreboard so it's easy to line up those corners and those V's and the sides. Here you can see that I'm adjusting this piece according to the V's. After you get done scoring, it, it's always good to, to pre-fold. Pre-folding also helps you get an understanding of how the piece is going to go together. This particular piece is the shelf to the dresser. It, I wanted you to look at how I put it together. It's not really difficult to do. I just think a picture says a thousand words. Okay, you can see it really does help to pre-crease those folds. That way your box is going to be nice and perpendicular, nice and square. On this dresser, I used the basil paper, the smooth finish. I find it was really nice and, th and stiff, and it gave the dresser a nice body. As you can see, I'm using my ATG gun. I should have used it when the, it was all flat. I did it on the other corners. It just helps keep it in place as you're, you're putting the glue on and putting the other side. It just kind of keeps it lined up for you. That you that's so important to make sure that they're lined up nice, nice and crisp so that your box is torqued right and it's nice and square. I'm almost done with this piece and just putting in the flaps. It's turning out to be nice, a nice square box. Using my bone folder to make good contact. The glue dries clear. I really like this glue because it is quick drying. Now you can see how the shelf goes into the dresser. You line it up so those 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 flaps can fold over the sides of the shelves. I took the shelf out so I could reinforce it with glue. I'm not sure if it's really necessary because you are going to put glue or adhesive on those flaps to hold the shelf in place. I'm using my bone folder again to make sure it has good contact. I like the way that this is turning out. See the glue on those flaps, fold it down, and it just secures that shelf in place. This is the pocket piece to the back of the dresser, and I wanted to show you how this was done. On the edges of those flaps, it should be at a half inch from the score line. Those flaps are going to wrap around the top part of the pocket to, to create the pocket as you can see how it's done and again pre-folding those scores. Now after you've assembled three drawers, that's two small ones and one large one and the dresser with the shelf, it's time to start decorating. On the, the windows I have a hole in the middle and that's going to be where your brat is going to be inserted and it's also to help you line up the silhouette of the window with the back portion of the window. So you will have two arched windows that will go on the small drawers and then you have the, the square windows that will go on the large drawer. There's also the door to the haunted house, but you, you will be able to see it. There it is. Now my window frames and my door is black and so black on black just didn't show up the like I wanted it to. So I decided to color in all of the black portions with the glitter pen. This is by Sakura. S A K U R A. I love these pens. This is the I think the Starlight pen, the clear Starlight pen, and it doesn't look really nice right now. But once you see the finished product, it looks really good. So I decided to go ahead and color all the black portions of the doors and the window frames. Well, that wasn't enough. So I decided to color in the windows 
themselves with a it's called copper and it's by the same company I just can't tell you how much I love these pens they are so smooth and they they come in different styles like they have one that is a glaze that will kind of lift up the the ink so it almost looks like it's embossed this is the small drawer and we're going to attach the front of the small drawer to the drawer I use I'm using the ATG gun again to adhere because I really want those sides to stick really good and then again reinforcing it with glue you can see that there's a hole in that 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 drawer and you're going to line up the front panel with the front of the drawer the flap on top is going to fold down to cover up the brad now add in the window it's coming together you'll see it looks really nice and add in the brad and the brad goes through the two holes and then of course you flatten the brad in the back and then glue down the flap so it has a nice finish I always like to make things with a nice finish then it's it's time to finish that drawer by again uh, making sure that those corners are nice and crisp so you have a nice square for your for your drawer and then the top flap is going to get glued down all oh, using the bone folder to again make sure that everything is making good contact I love those bone folders there it is that's what the front drawer looks like and you're going to be making two of them now this is uh, the chalks that I use to highlight and distress the pumpkin I like to use chalks and inks to give these the die cuts a little bit more life to them I don't really like the flat look so I am taking my uh, uh, my applicator and darkening the sides of the pumpkin and I'm going to do this to all of the pieces I'm blending it in this this is this chalk is kind of creamy metallic and it, it really is nice I like the way it it blends in to the die cuts and I use this for pretty much all of my die cuts when I want to give them more life and more dimension this is a layered pumpkin it doesn't look like much right now but you will like it I'm sure I liked it there's the pumpkin okay so now I'm going to attach it to the large drawer you can see that I already had added the door and the large window I'm going to put the pumpkin down at the bottom oh I gotta clean up off some of that glue good thing it dries clear and then add the the small window and then we're going to make sure that all the flaps are, are glued down covering the brad make it a nice square or rectangular drawer you can see the ATG tape adhesive that I did put on the side just to make sure again those corners get really nice and perpendicular and there we go it slides right in I like it now I'm going to attach the pocket portion on the back of the dresser and I'm using glue I think I use some adhesive on the back of the dresser again so it will have a nice a nice contact the top portion is the fence so once you get the pocket pressed down I'm going to add some adhesive bend those corners and glue it to the sides of the dresser and that makes the top portion of the fence and it's all around the dresser top now of the or the haunted house are almost done this is the tag that goes in the pocket in the back of the dresser and I made it double so it would give it more strength also you could keep it I glued it together but you could keep it open and add your little greeting if you'd like and now we're going to decorate the bottom of the tag that when you pull it out you'll be able to see this is a file that you can get at scrappy cuts online.com when I make these files I like to see layers I think layers just seem to make it more personal you can highlight them with chalks or inks cut them out in any color that you like so I am using the chalks to highlight the candy corn 
because I just thought it was a little bit too white for my taste and I thought it would look better with the haunted house and then making the moon a little bit eerie adding some shadows make it looks like there's some craters on it and uh, maybe some clouds that are going by it and gluing it on and then we're going to add the bats I glued the bats on the moon so they're silhouetted by the moon and I gave them red eyes by using the red glitter pen by Sakura again I just can't tell you how much I love those pens sometimes you have to find them at order them online like joannes.com I can I'll find the ones that I like okay we're almost done okay just have to add the ghosts I wanted to put a ghost on the back just so it would just kind of finish the back of the pocket. So adding a ghost to the back. And then last but not least, we're going to get that ghost on the front of the, or the top of the dresser. There, now we have our haunted house. Here's the front view of the haunted dresser and then you can see the drawers open. You could add candies, little little trick or treat type of things. Um, just what a fun thing to give as a Halloween gift to a kid or even to a, fa a friend or a family member. Happy Halloween!